Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Schultz. Today we have one of my favorite Russian folktales gathered by Robert Nismet Payne. This is a story about, well, about someone very wise who gets the drop on, honestly, a person that we all know, don't we? This is the tale of the peasant Demian. Whether it is a long time ago or a short time ago, I cannot say. But I know that once upon a time in a certain village dwelt a peasant who was headstrong and hot-tempered. His name was Demian. He was austere and hard and stern, always seeking an occasion to quarrel and dealing hardly with whomsoever he fell out. Whatever anyone said or did to him, he was always ready with fists. He would invite a neighbor to be his guest, for instance, and force him to eat, and if the neighbor hung back a bit for bashfulness or courtesy, our peasant would pitch into him at once and cry, In a strange house obey thy host! Now, this is what happened one day. A smart, sturdy young fellow came to little Demian as a guest, and our peasant regaled him finely, and filled the table with meat and drink. The young fellow pulled everything toward himself, dish after dish, and munched away in silence with both cheeks crammed full. Our peasant stared and stared and at last he took off his cloak and said, Take off thy blouse and put on my cloak. But he thought to himself, He is sure to refuse, and then I'll show him something. But the youth put on the cloak, tied it round with his girdle, bowed low, and said, Well, little father, I thank thee for thy gift. I dare not refuse, for in a strange house one must obey the host. The host was furious. He wanted to pick a quarrel with him now at any price, so he ran into the stable, got out his best horse, and said to the youth, Nothing is too good for thee. Here, mount my horse and take it away as thine own. But he thought, He'll be sure to refuse, and then I'll teach him a lesson. But the youth again said, In a strange house we must always obey the host. Only when he was fairly mounted did he turn round to the peasant Demian and cry, Farewell, mine host. Nobody pushed thee, but thou didst fall into the ditch of thine own self. And he trotted out of the courtyard right away. But the host looked after him, shook his head, and said, The scythe has struck upon a stone. And that is the Russian folktale of the tale of the peasant Demian, where we learn about, well, sometimes it's not good to be too nice or too welcoming. And I love this saying, the scythe has struck upon a stone, or really, as Bain notes, I've met my match. And Demian has. This is Dan Schulz for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget that if you'd like to help support the podcast, you can head over to patreon.com slash folktaleproject, where for as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to every story told. As always, thank you so much for listening.